All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So today I'm gonna go over how to mount one of these boxes. Now that you know what these lines mean, I'm gonna uh, show you how to mount this. And I know it's, oh, you just hit the nail, but there's more to it than that. So let me go ahead and show you what to do. Um, so you're gonna line up your box um, on the line. This one is for the top. And there is these little marks right here, and these are for half an inch. If you want to do five eighths, you kind of leave it off a little bit. Um, can't really show you from this angle, but basically you just hold it at the half inch right here, just push it on there. And then if you want to do five eighths, um, there is actually a little mark on the box, but you can just pull it out a teeny bit and then uh, do that as well. If you need it more, then you can always use a tape measure to measure out like an inch or inch and a quarter or anything like that. But I always like just to go half an inch. It's better to put your boxes inside the wall then have a possibility of having them outside the wall um, but always do what your employer says if they want them at five eighths put them at five eighths um, but I'm, i always like to go a half an inch um, just kind of line it up right there on the mark and instead of hitting it with the hammer with the head um, that leaves more of possibility when you miss to blow the box out and destroy it and having to start over um, i always like to use the side of my hammer as you can tell all the paint is off the side of my hammer right here um, so I always like to use the side of it and that especially comes in handy if there is another stud in the way. You can always use the side of your hammer to get to it easier to hit the nail. Um, but anyways, I'll just show you how to do this real quick. And you can always leave a little bit extra right there to hit here in a second, but just get it started. And it's a little bit faster actually as well just to hit it with the side. So you can always finish it off like that. But for the most part, you kind of, I always like to use the side so it leaves less chance to blow it out um, just when you're using the most force. Um, and that's pretty much it right there. So um, next video, um, I'm gonna show you how to take the box off and how to reuse the box. Um, there's a few different ways to do that, but um, always make sure your box is kind of level. If it's kind of smashed, if you hit one side too much, you can always tap it down a little bit to level it out but anyways that's it for the most part guys thanks for watching i appreciate it if you enjoyed and found this useful make sure to drop a like and subscribe see you guys back in the next video for more educational 101 electrical videos um, check the description for anything else and hit the notification bell to be notified when i upload or do live streams thanks guys see you later peace out all right guys one more thing i wanted to throw in um, i want to show you the box here real quick but um, you want to make the box level from the face of the wood to the face of the box. Um, so you wanna keep that distance the same from the wood to the face going down. Otherwise, if you push one side in too far, it's gonna be crooked and then the device is gonna be crooked and you're gonna to have to shim it out later. It's just gonna be a mess. So just do it right the first time and make it straight. And always what I like to do, like I said, is keep it on the half inch tabs um, and then it's pretty much straight every time. So anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks.